Hello chess friends, this is Grandmaster Eugene Perlstein for ChessOpeningsExplained.com and today I'm gonna try to present to you a complete repertoire for white in under five minutes. That's right, this is a very ambitious project. I hope you will enjoy it and hopefully I'll be able to give you a complete set of tools and weapons against any popular move that black throws at you. So let's start. The first move is e4, e5. Again, e4 is my preferred move and this is the move I recommend with my co-authors Roman Jinjikashvili and Lev Albert. And now I'm gonna go a little bit different than the recommendation in the white book. I'm gonna recommend to you the scotch. Now after knight f3 knight c6 the more ambitious move and the move that requires more theory is the move d4 takes bishop c4 this is called the scotch gambit but again since the whole repertoire is under five minutes i have to give you very easy to remember setups now what i like about this four knight setup is that after knight c3 knight f6 we can get this position via many different move orders we can also play knight f3 for instance knight f6 and the move knight c3 will simply transpose so what is the setup that i'm aiming for well the setup is pretty easy you play d4 pawn usually takes takes now bishop b4 is by far the most popular move there's really not much else takes takes bishop d3 now they can insert d5 takes castles castles or castle right away it honestly doesn't matter we are going to reach this position and the plan that I'm about to show you is the move played by none other than the former world champ, Kramnik. The idea is to restrict the bishop is the move h3. And after, let's say, c6, queen f3, already the opening is over. This bishop can go to either f4 or even g5. And the key to realize is black has a chronic pawn structure problem. White's going to activate his rooks. All end games are good for white white's already better all right let's move on to the next opening the french this is a very serious opening uh the main line is of course d4 i'm gonna recommend to you move which is very very rare this move e5 now you're gonna see shortly why i recommend that move when i show you what we do against the Karakon defense now e either d6 or d5 are the moves d6 is more popular it doesn't really matter we're gonna take on passant anyways pawn takes d4 and if they play like the normal french with d5 this is the pawn structure which is quite bad for black after knight f3 knight f6 bishop d3 bishop d6 castles castles c3 this is the winning pawn chain if you've seen my previous videos that i love for white this bishop has a lot of freedom we have a lot of pressure here what you do with that knight the answer is quite easy rook e1 knight d2 knight f1 knight g3 this one goes to e5 very big attack all right, let's move on to the Karakon. e4, c6. Same exact idea. Exchange variation. We take, bishop goes to d3. Usually they play knight c6, c3. Queen c7 is a move here, or knight f6. We play very simple chess. h3, although other moves are possible. e6 is very bad, but let's say they do that. Guess what? Same plan as the French. This bishop can go to d6 or e7. Castles, castles. Rook goes here knight transfer and bishop can go to g5 again as i like to call that the winning pawn chain strategy pawns point to the king white's a lot better now what's left knight f6 the alakine okay no big deal e5 here d4 here c4 and now i recommend everyone to take the plan is quite simple knight goes to c3 this is exactly from our white book the key is to prepare the retreat the retrieval of the rook from a1 and opening up the diagonal so that the knight is protected after knight here d5 white's already better knight here we can play bishop e2 f4 knight f3 knight's gonna go back white is a lot better all right sicilian that's a big chapter but the plan is uh usually we're gonna play they play d6 or knight c6 knight c3 f4 this is called the grand prix attack bishop b5 the idea is to take the knight they usually do this castles they may take the bishop and kick our knight we don't care again if they do this the plan is the following they want a castle so we're going to play queen e1 
queen h4 with a great attack f5 bishop h6 knight g5 remember the setup attacking the king all right actually i went over a little bit more than five minutes but this is the complete repertoire now if you want to look a little bit more at some other lines stay tuned because i want to show you what i do against g6 this is called the modern or the perk they sometimes play d6 as well bishop g7 knight here pawn here knight f3 typically you get the knights out although you can also start with the move bishop e3 uh, the ideas are all the same the idea is to play uh, for development for instance knight f6 knight f3 castles and now you are doing quite well with bishop e2 or a4 to stop b5 very easy position to play and let's see finally if they play d5 this is called the so-called um, center counter or the scandinavian knight here attacking the queen queen can go to d6 d8 or a5 i'm going to recommend the same exact plan g3 bishop g2 knight g knight g2 castles d3 now the key idea i want you to remember from this setup usually they get the bishop outside well not yet the pawn chain the first you gotta play very important move c6 new main line uh, we can play knight g2 bishop f5 and now as the bishop leaves this pawn is vulnerable b4 is the key idea rook b1 rook takes b7 destroying black's defenses wow all right i actually went over five minutes at six minutes and a little bit more so hopefully this will cover everything you ever need as white and again quick summary for everyone against e4 e5 we're gonna play the scotch which is knight of three knight c6 knight c3 knight of six d4 more or less they have to take knight takes d4 is always bad because queen takes d4 they can't really attack the queen easily takes takes bishop d3 castles castles d5 takes takes h3 is vital to limit the scope of that bishop and queen goes to f3 with very easy play then the next one is the french we're gonna play this move e5 hoping the pawn is gonna go to d6 or d5 we're gonna take that pawn doesn't matter how they take our plan is the following we go for the simple setup and this pawn structure is superior as you see the plans outlined with the arrows uh white is doing quite well caracon exactly the same idea takes takes bishop d3 h3 and very easy development white's doing quite well the uh alakine also very easy dc4 takes takes first you vacate the queen side notice we got all the pieces out to get ready to hit the knight with d5 and let's see what else is left uh, g6 oh yeah let's look at c5 first we're gonna go for the grand prix with bishop b5 we're gonna take the knight and double the pawns if they go after the bishop we're actually doing quite well here this is the general plan with f5 bishop h6 knight g5 and let's see what else is left here finally uh center center counter the scandinavian the plan is to put the pawn on, on g3 bishop on g2 and usually this pawn ends up on d3 but if they play early bishop f5 or bishop g4 b4 is the key idea and generally speaking our plan is to play on the queen side all right so managed to do everything under 10 minutes hopefully covered every single major opening in just enough detail that you can start playing all of this repertoire the entire video is under 10 minutes all right guys enjoy it